Okay, welcome to my kitchen. I just got back from food shopping. My veg box arrived this morning and before we eat all the food, I wanted to take you through what I buy in an average week to stay on an average English grocery budget, food budget, but also buying as much as I can organic food that's as eco-friendly as possible and mindful of the environment, but also the people in the growing and producing of the food. So this is what I buy. I talked last week in this video here, I'll put it up here, about how I put together a meal plan. It is essential for me. And then I take my meal plan to my laptop and to the shops so that I can look at what prices food are that week and I can adjust the meal plan accordingly. The only way I can do those values and feed our family on the budget we have, which I try and stick to about 30 pounds a week on average when we're all home. My husband is gone, obviously he's a big eater. So I'm trying to keep us to about 25 pounds per person per week on food. And one of the only ways I can make this happen, I've got bread behind me that I just baked is by making pretty much everything from scratch. So here you will just see it as ingredients. I don't think buying pre-made food, you can do this on an average budget. So that is what you'll see here. I am making things from scratch as much as I can. So. This is my meal plan for the week. So you can see I put in kind of basic bones of meals and then I'll piece the veg box around that. And a huge reason for the meal plan is to make sure that everything I buy gets eaten. That's a huge place that people waste a lot of food, but a lot of their food money is on stuff not getting eaten. So I'm piecing things together in the meal plan, making sure that everything I buy here has a purpose and that it's then going to get eaten. Budget wise, I start each week with my veg box. I love this veg box from Avalon Cole because it has all the values that I want in terms of organic. It's climate neutral delivery. They're careful in terms of where they're getting food from and relationships with the farmers. Riverford equally, another great option. I just find Avalon Cole has a little more variety for what I need. That's why I go with them. And then I can switch up what's in it. So in here this week, We've got kale, which I think I'm gonna put with a chicken quiche. Some tomatoes, which I think will be either pizza sauce or they will go in a chicken soup. I got some dates, which were a splurge in the veg box. I would have got a lot more if I had chosen a different vegetable, but the kids love these, so they will actually go in their lunchbox. Just a date in place of a, you know, a treat in the lunchbox. Then we've got lots of potatoes, which this week will go alongside quiche and also be breakfast for dinner. Butternut squash, which I think I will roast for lunches at home. There are two big bags of carrots. And then in here you can see we've got apples, oranges, beets, a cabbage, and another piece of kale. So that veg box makes up the beginning of my budget. And then I look at where I can put that in different meals and what else I need. Also from Abel and Cole, I got two chicken, car chicken carcasses, which I can use for meat and broth, and then yogurt in recycled plastic, which was on offer from them. I could get that lots of different places, but I got that. So then I also took a trip to our local grocery store. I rotate through a few different ones. And this week I got two liters of milk. These were reduced, so I immediately put them in the freezer and I adjusted the meal plan to use more milk because I got it on special. So we've got the mac and cheese and the quiche, which both will use milk. I also got a block of organic cheese. I don't know if this will see us through the week. <laughs> Once we've finished this, I will upload a video of what we actually spent and what we actually ate. So you can see that when we've done it. Then this was maybe the only non-organic thing or one of a few that I got a can of corn to go in chicken soup. And then just staples for toast and bread and sandwiches, peanut butter, honey. We won't go through that in a week. That will roll over. Um, the same with Marmite, but each week there are these things. Another week it might be ketchup. Um, I also grabbed some spices, cumin and smoked paprika, which not gonna go through those in a week, but each week there's a few different things that fill in this spot of items. I got two blocks of butter. I don't usually go unsalted, but they didn't have salted. And lastly, a can of tomatoes. That will go either pizza or chicken soup, depending on where I use those tomatoes. 
Uh, that came to about 20, I'll list the exact cost, but that was about 20. Oh, I also got two dozen free range eggs. I don't know that we'll use all two dozen this week with the meal plan, so some of them will probably roll over, but I got those as well. So now we're at about 65 for the week. Then I went to the bulk shop. Now, I don't every week go to all of these places. It doesn't take that to make this work. Everything I got from the bulk shop was dry, so that could have been a once a month purchase, but this is what else I got. So whole wheat organic penne pasta, that will do two meals of a mac and cheese with some veg in it. Maybe the beets, maybe the carrots, maybe the kale, we will see, but that is that along with the milk. Then I got porridge oats. These could be like freezer treats with the peanut butter, um, a little bit of coconut oil, things like that, a little freezer treat, or it will be oatmeal in the morning with an egg added in for a bit of extra protein, but oats. Um, brown basmati rice. This will be probably our simplest meal of the week, which will just be rice and beans. I'll soak and sprout the pinto beans. That's a meal. Maybe with a bit of cheese, maybe some roast beets or roast butternut squash, but that will just be a really simple meal. The kids love it. Rice and bean bowls. It's great. Cannellini beans for chicken soup. Again, I'll soak and sprout those. I might keep some as well for lunches at home. So that's what I grabbed from the bulk shop and that was about 11 pounds. I think I'll probably use all of that this week because I did shop it specifically for this week. I get our flour in... 25 kilogram bags. It just arrived and I haven't put it away yet. We can get through, depending on how we're eating bread and pizza dough, five to six loaves a week. So that I am adding in as well, even though I'll get that and then that will last me two to three months, all of that. But it is kind of, I think about it in terms of our week and what we are spending. So my goal for the week was about a hundred pounds. I'm then also gonna budget in a few for a too good to go bag. We usually pick up some waste food and that is in there as well. And then we'll see how we do. So my current actual spend for the week didn't get up to a hundred, which that was my goal, four times 25. But we'll see where we're at at the end of the week in terms of what we eat. Now, there will be some things in the house that I already have. I'm not locking the door on the cupboards. That's not how we you know, like I said, we don't shop exactly week to week. Um, but some of these things will replace some of the things I have in the cupboards. Like we're going to use a fraction of the Marmite, but I might use some ketchup. I think in addition to the meal plan, I will also make a really simple chocolate sponge that will use a little bit of cocoa, but these eggs, this honey, this butter. Um, so there'll be some of those things. It won't be exactly this, but this is kind of what I buy in an average week. I will note everything below if you just want to see a list. And I may also have to circle back and buy some more things. I don't know that this cheese is gonna cut it for pizza and quiche and all the things. So I feel like I might be going back in and buying more cheese. And I do have that little bit of extra room in the budget that I can do that if I need to. If I didn't have that, I would just work with what we have got. So often, it's easy to look at what other people buy and go, that's so much cheaper than where I live. Yes, some of this will be cheaper than where you are. So remember, I have built this meal plan and done this shop based on what I can get within my budget here. So Able & Paul is a nationally, pretty nationally available box. Um, and I know people will always say, what would you do in America? Look up your local CSAs. There is a CSA website where you can look up a local CSA. We had a very comparably priced one when we were in California that really fit on a low budget. Um, it's also a way to shop local, put money back into your local economy, which has so many plus points. But you need to build your meal plan and shop around what works in your area, which is going to be different for everybody. Um, I could have bulked out a lot more kind of rice and beans meals and things like that. There are ways I could have made this cheaper, um, but all the meals in the meal plan are ones that fit on our kind of per meal ideal budget. None of those are more wildly expensive that I'm then trying to counter with other meals. Um, but that's what I got in a week. I will come back in a week and tell you exactly what we ate, what we spent on what we actually ate and how we adjusted the meal plan through the week so that will be loaded somewhere here when it is live. Uh.